This is Twit. I think last week I only, I think I had two app picks last week, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so you're making up for So it. this week I'm going to come back with two tips hey. instead. So the first tip is that you can upgrade to Windows 11 now. Um, and that means anybody, basically. Um, although you have to have it enrolled in the Windows Insider program at some point just to be able to download the ISO. But the, the reason I actually published this now was, well, A, because Windows 11 isn't out yet. I was already thinking about doing it. But all of a sudden last week I started seeing, uh, late last week, maybe over the weekend, a bunch of people were writing these, you can install Windows 11 now. And I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Let me make sure they got this right. And then I looked at all the articles and they all got it wrong. And like basically uh, what they're saying is enroll in the Windows Insider program on the PC, reboot, come back, download the update, reboot, <laughs> come back, disenroll from the Windows Insider program, reboot, come back. And I'm like, guys, oh guys, guys, God, it's way easier crazy. than that. Way easier mm -hmm. than that. Okay. The Windows Insider program maintains a download site so you can download ISOs. And what they have there varies over time, obviously. But right now what they have is versions of Windows 11 for the dev and beta channels. And then in the release preview uh, channel, even though it just went to Windows 11 too, they have a Windows 10 21 H2 build. So if you go to that site and you download, you sign in you know, with your account, you have to have it at some point in the future, it doesn't matter when, enrolled in the Windows Insider program to do this. Choose the beta version and just install it. You can upgrade an existing computer. You can use the ISO if you want to make a USB disk and do that kind of thing if that's what you want. But literally, download the ISO, double click it. It will open up to that's what looks simple. like a virtual disk. Just run setup and upgrade to Windows 11. It's fine. You're right on the you're right on the stable path. You're not in beta. You're not enrolled in the Insider program. No weirdness. You're you're right oh, where you want to be. Good. So this is the actual okay. release version. Yep. Right? Yeah. This is it. Okay. Nice. It's that simple. So that's good. So would you call um, this RTM? Would that be the RTM version? I guess uh, it is. I, I would like to call it that, but you know, Microsoft is curiously averse to that term. And honestly, yes. Tuesday or something will probably be like a an update of some yeah. kind. I mean, you know. Right. Yeah. Right. Is this so the version exactly that's going to come that. on new PCs? I can't wait to find out. I am dying Maybe. to see my first Windows uh, yeah. 11 based PC. Yeah. It's going to happen very soon. So. Nice. Uh, I'll let you know in the future because I'm really curious okay. about that. But yeah, maybe this is literally it. Um, and then, as you may know, I've been doing a series of feature focus articles about the new features in Windows 11. And there's been several of them. You know, I've talked about like this, the Snap features that are new to Windows 11, Snap, uh, snap layouts and Snap groups, which are really cool. You know, new start menu, new taskbar, you know, blah, 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 and stuff. But honestly, for people who use multi-monitors, especially if you use them with a laptop, which I think is a really common configuration, you have like a nice big screen, keyboard and a mouse, and then you put your laptop over the corner and you have two displays because the laptop obviously has the built-in display. And then this, this would be your primary display typically. But regardless of the scenario, if you use two or more PCs, Windows 11 supports like a truly useful and awesome feature and I don't know that it has like an exact name. I call it the docking undocking experience. But basically the way it works is over the course of a day or whatever, you will use certain applications on that external display. It could be one, of, it doesn't matter how many there are. I'm just gonna say this one for, just to make it simple. Some of those things might be full screen. Some of them will be windowed and positioned in certain places. And when you unplug that display, as if like say you pick up the laptop to take it in the other room, if you're familiar with how Windows works, you know that all of those open windows that were on the external display all come racing back to the internal display, and they, they just, they, it's a mess. And then later on, you go back, and you plug the display back, and you have to move everything back because it doesn't remember anything. Windows 11 remembers everything, and that's it's really cool. And it does this neat little animation, both when you dock and undock, where the screen kind of comes, it actually kind of, I guess it compresses a bit and then expands back out. So it's kind of giving you a visual cue that this is happening. But when you plug in the display, every window you had is assuming they're still open, open on that external display previously, it could have been earlier today, yesterday, a week ago, it doesn't matter. They all go right back where they were before. It's really, really good. And for all the stuff we've kind of lost and the regressions and the inability to sync, like this is, this is a really useful and, uh, and seamless feature. It's, it seems to do exactly what they said it was going to do. So that doesn't actually happen a lot, to be honest. <laughs> uh, but this one, this one's, this is pretty good. So I'm going to call it the docking undocking experience, but uh, it might literally be the best new feature in Windows 11. Nice. Now you're tempting me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Now I want to well, upgrade. You, if you like it, you can upgrade now. That was my other tip. Yeah, I heard Maybe that. Maybe you can call it doc, <laughs> call it doc flow. Then doc, come on, no, please don't call it anything with the word flow. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fan of the flow. Like flow from yeah. progressive insurance. Yeah, exactly. 